let's start with the pivot table now what is it that we have here we have transaction data from an electronic store okay and this is uh, data from the us so that's why you can see the regions uh, not really uh, so things like Midwest and, and all that stuff. So that's not Indian data, that's US data. Anyway, that doesn't matter really because we are trying to learn. Uh, we are not analyzing data. We are trying to learn what is pivot table. So the first column is date, right? Which is a transaction date. Then we have day, Monday, Tuesday, and so on and so forth. Time, we have three categories, morning and afternoon and evening. Uh, region, as you can see, we have West and East and all that stuff. Cart type means uh, when the user buys something, uh, I mean the, 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 the customer buys something, uh, he or she would pay by a card. So is it an Elecmart card or something else? That's the two things, that those are the two things. In general, of course, we know. By category, what sort of a category customer he is, high, medium, low. And this is where we have some numbers. How many items ordered in that transaction, right? So four items ordered in the first transaction. The total bill amount, total cost is the total bill amount of 136.97. And high item means the highest priced item of those four items. That's what the data is, right? So I have data from 6th of March to I think uh, 25th of June, right? So around 400 data points. And I want to analyze this data, right? Look at insights from this data, okay? Now, we're going to learn this wonderful tool called Pivot Table, which can help us analyze big chunks of data with just a few clicks, which otherwise, if you want to do it with functions, will take a considerable amount of time. Okay, so let's let's do that. Okay, but before we start uh, the pivot table, uh, uh, working with the pivot table, when I say we want to analyze this and come out with insights, what do I mean? I mean things like, for example. Uh, Let's say I, I want to figure out if you have enough human resources during afternoon in Northeast. Let's say I'm some getting some complaints, customer complaints from the Northeast region during evening, right? And what I want to figure out is, do you have enough sales guys, salespersons attending to customers? Maybe that's the reason why you have crowd. So what do I do? I figure out, well, when when do we have most people visiting stores in Northeast? Is it morning, afternoon, evening? That's the first thing, first step. Then when I look at, let's say when I figure out the busiest, busiest part of the day and the busiest, let's say, uh, time of the week, then I figure out how many people are there and if required, can I sort of increase the resources out there and so on and so forth, right? Or who are the customers, uh, who are the majority customers of a particular region? Let's, let's say the, 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 the West or the Midwest. It's possible that I figure, find out that the females uh, in Midwest far outnumber males. So that's, that's, a, that's my main customer base. In which case the promotion or the advertisements or all these sort of things could be directed towards female customer, targeted towards female, right? So these are lots of things that you can get. I think many of you are already aware of what data can do for you today's business. Uh, pivot table is one such data analysis tool, okay? So let's explore this. Let's figure out what is this pivot table and how does it work? So the first thing we do is we go to the insert tab and the very first thing to your left that you have is pivot table. So just click on this and you'll be presented with this pop-up window. 
it says select a table or range and it's already pre-selected because when we when we went when I clicked on insert and pivot table my active cell was a1 so if your active cell is anything within that range Excel smartly deduces that you must be looking at this entire table range so I'm fine with it of course I can change it if I want I can reduce the number of columns and rows and extend and all that stuff so of course I can do that the next thing is where I want the pivot table to be placed and I want a new worksheet right I don't go for existing worksheet new worksheet and that's all I need to do here you also have this great option of add this data to the data model but that's a little bit of advanced stuff and I hope we'll, you will learn it here in campus so we are not going to do it um, in this in this preparatory it's not difficult but it's likely okay we'll do it if possible later now say okay and you have this pivot team okay good now this is where the selected portion this is where you'll have the data okay but we'll come to this later let's not let's now focus our attention on this part of it the, the right hand side the pane that you have which says pivot table fields the right hand side pane well <clears throat> the first thing that you notice is I have the list of all the fields so that's there in my data. this doesn't help is it difficult to look at I mean I mean to figure out Yes, sir. The I can. Has been frozen, I can so zoom. I can zoom the worksheet area, but I cannot zoom this. Until and unless, of course, I use the magnifier. But that. Sir, actually, actually there is there is a lag in the actions you are taking and what we are viewing. Oh, I see. Okay. So, what do you suggest? I go slow. No, I think that is because of. Uh, uh, tomorrow. Zoom. If it is at somewhere around 110, uh, I think things should work fine. Oh, Chacha, you are saying you reduce the magnification. Okay, right. okay, fine. Right. So I can do that. 90, 100 should be fine, right? Right, so 100 should be fine. Okay, 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 okay. I understand. Fine. Yeah, yeah, I understand. That. Okay. So I, I, I'll also go a little slow so that <clears throat> just to not too much lag, right? Okay, now here I have the fills, right? All the fills that we just looked at, okay? Now, and I have four boxes here below, okay? So we'll just look at what these four boxes are and then we'll stop for the day, okay? The rest will finish tomorrow, okay? Now, if I check, if I check the total cost field, you see the total cost field goes to box number four. Let's call it box number four. And not just that, it is the values are all added up. It says sum of total sum, total cost. Okay. And you can see that the sum of total cost is shown as 6152, whatever, some, some figure, some number. So what has happened is that this, this column, total cost, this entire thing has been added. Okay, that's what has happened. But anyway, we'll come, all, come to that later. But right now you can see if I click on this field, it goes to the fourth box and is added up. I go and do the same thing for items ordered. I check items ordered, the same thing happens. High item, the same thing happens. So the thing is, if you check, if you include a number, a numeric field that goes straight to the fourth box and is added up by default. Okay? Later on, we'll see. If you do not want that, what are the things that we can do? We'll see that. Now let's look at the other fields. For example, day and time and region and so on and so forth. Now you see these are categorical variables. Region, I have four regions. 
seven days, three times of the day. Okay, these are categorical variables. These are categories. Yeah. So anything which is a text, right? Not a number, and most most probably a categorical variable. If you check that, it goes to the third box, which is labeled as rows, which is labeled as rows, right? So that's what we have learned first few minutes of this pivot table module. So you select a number, you check a number, it goes to the fourth box. You check a categorical variable, which is not a number that is, it goes to the third box row. Now let's look at, let's let's do a check total cost, right? And then also check region. And then let's look at this pivot table area. Okay, what do you get? These regions and the total cost of these regions. So now, what it means is the total bill amount from the Midwest is 9618. The total bill amount from Northeast is something, right? Some figure. And the total cost, the grand total comes out to be 61527, some number. Right? So now you can see and you understand that region has been arranged in rows and total cost is added. Okay? So that's what happens when you uh, check and and uh, keep something in the rows box. Okay. Now let's take another one. Let's take time. Okay. Time is again a non num non numeric, so it goes to the third box. Okay. And now you see the weight has been arranged. So these are all rows, of course. Now Midwest has been further classified as afternoon, evening, and morning. So this 9168 is actually uh, a sum of three numbers for afternoon, evening, and morning. Okay. And all arranged in rows. Now, well, a, a slight thing, a, a little very small thing. If you move out of this area, these fields vanish. If you come back, this reappears. Sometimes, accidentally, you may click on this cross and simply close it. And then, of course, it doesn't matter when you come back, it doesn't reappear. What you do have to do then is go to this tab called Design, not Design, sorry, Analyze, click on Show, and say Fill this. It reappears. Okay. Good. Can now, all of you use in Windows. So, this is, you know what this is, collapse and expand. So, I don't need to tell you that. You're all pretty much comfortable with these icons. Now, so, there's one thing. Hold on, please. I'll take questions after I'm done. Please do not ask questions in between. So, here you see region and time. I have or the pivot table presents it in one column. It's nicely nested, nicely nested of course, but it's in one column, right? That's the first thing that we notice. The other thing is time is nested within region, okay? Why is it so? Because in this box, as you can see, region comes before time. I can click on time and simply drag it upwards, change the order that is, and now you can see that region is nested within time. So these are things that you can easily do. Okay, good. Now let's look at column A, where I have both region and time, both uh, in column A, right? And now if I use gender, for example, again, this comes up, even this one is nested within uh, or, or, or displayed in column A. Now, if you want to, for example, here, if I don't want gender, I can simply uncheck, gender goes away, or I can simply click on gender here and say remove field. 
ok du bouffer so if you want you can just very quickly do what i've just done take 10 seconds and do exactly what i've done so that you don't feel uncomfortable while we're doing this So can you repeat the analyze uh, tab uh, part that you have explained? Because there was a technical glitch when you were explaining. The screen was frozen. Okay, analyze. Oh, I forgot. I said I'll go slow and then I forgot all about it. And <laughs> anyway, so if you click on show, right? These are the options. These are toggle switches. So click again. And you get back to them. That's what I was talking about. Okay. Pardon me, sir. On analyze, we have to click region. Show. Your voice show. Is not audible, probably. Analyze, show. You can see it on the screen now. Well, I have a suggestion here. If you are having problems with uh, uh, the bandwidth at home, then join and go to the nearest center that you have. Okay? Because this might just become a problem later on. If you're having problems with bandwidth at home, please do go to the nearest center. That's much easier then. Okay. So, I have a doubt. Um, I uh, gave the field as the time and region and I'm getting them as values like there's a count of time and count of region. Uh, can we can we talk about it tomorrow? Yeah sure. Because let me just yeah, yeah. talk or you figure out or you figure out the thing okay. uh, tonight and tomorrow morning. Try to see if yeah, you sure. can fix it. Okay, exactly. okay so where were we? Yeah. Now, if we want to um, change the, the way this looks and take time and region to separate columns, then what I can simply do is go to design and there's a report layout. This is the compact form. What you see on the screen is the compact form. You can go and check tabular form and there you go. You now see this in two different columns and you have proper header and all that stuff uh, uh, so it's easy to understand okay this can be expanding the region to column section also yeah you can simply by taking it up that's all okay well then